Here comes the storm What's up you guys, D-Machine here bringing you a 5.4.7 quick guide video. Just going over the basics real quick for you guys, for the people who are interested, talents, glyphs, gems, and chants. Um, now I'm going to make some other videos later on about macros, add-ons, tips and tricks, and compositions for Rep Paladins. But just for in this video right now, uh, just the basics. So so jumping right into the talents, long arm of the law isn't is always going to be priority. I mean these are just not nearly as good for PvP, uh, considering. Now, uh, second tier, Fist of Justice for sure, as Repentance and Turn Evil, as you guys know, you have to cast them. Casting them as a Rep Paladin is kind of not ideal, considering it's the same tree as our bubble. And at the same time, um, when we have to stop and cast, we have no gap closer to our kill target, so that kind of sucks. Next tier, Selfless Healers definitely is the, uh, the talent to get, because uh, it's kind of what makes us a hybrid, honestly. Uh, next tier, fourth tier, level 60 tier is Clemency. Uh, it's probably the main one I go. Uh, I mean, it gives you two hand of sacrifices, two bops, and two freedoms to be able to get your team and yourself out of snares and then your uh, healer out of uh, more CC um, by bopping fears and stuff like that. And having two bops is always nice, so it's usually the one I go. But Unbreakable Spirit is definitely a good option when you're getting trained to the ground like a turbo where they have a ridiculous amount of damage and not a ridiculous amount of CC. I would go Unbreakable Spirit to reduce the amount of of, uh, time on your wall your melee wall when uh, gift correctly which is divine protection or uh, and your bubble it reduces the time in your bubble as well hand of purity is a fantastic ability to use when facing LSD 2.0 which is boomkin warlock shaman um, or any other dot cleave for that matter uh, divine purpose sanctified wrath and holy avenger this tier is basically a no-brainer uh, divine purpose is a proc yeah sure it does more damage over time but uh, I like controlling my burst, because that's what PvP is all about, right? Controlling that burst and getting that kill. Uh, Sanctified Wrath, a 50% reduction on Hammer of Wrath is not that good, considering majority of her damage comes from Templar's Verdict with their cooldowns up. So that 30 additional damage is where it's at, know what I'm saying? Execution Sentence is an awesome ability right now, mainly because of the amount of CC that we're prone to. Um, being able to do that damage over time instead of uh, the instant damage. So, like for example, if I use all my cooldowns and then I execution sentence, I'm still doing a considerable amount of damage, even though I'm probably going to be in a fear at that time, because um, <laughs> they're going to want to control you with your wings up. And that, but I do go holy prism against teams like Turbo Gleave and stuff like that, because uh, I'm not controlled nearly as much. Glyphs. So the two main glyphs that you really need to continue to use is Glyph of Templar's Verdict and Glyph of Burden of Guilt. I uh, and then a third glyph is the one that I change depending on what composition I'm facing. Uh, glyph of Burden uh, or Glyph of Double Jeopardy is what I usually run unless I'm facing a melee team, and then I usually go do Glyph of Divine Protection. So my Divine Protection ability also reduces damage. Oop, I got a I got a shaman on me. I'm outy. Peace out, guys. And so, and another glyph that I end up using quite a bit is, uh, is, uh, do, 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 do. oh, oh, hold on, hold on, I have to play a little bit. Oh, he's also timing. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up, or mastery. There's the ultra time. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, freaking immunities. Oh, you're pretty far. Look how far you got. He has a thousand health. Let's see if he lives. If he lives, I will be impressed. But I don't think he's going to. He has a lot of absorbs, but there he goes. So, uh, going back to my guide then, um, I usually go Word of Glory and uh, Flash of Light um, against certain teams like LSD and stuff because uh, the heal over time, like the extra damage from healing so much um, and the extra healing uh, is kind of nice, but honestly, you shouldn't really be switching 
uh, away from the double jeopardy and the divine protection uh, now why double jeopardy is so good is because of that of that 20 additional damage every time you switch targets with your judgment the reason why that's so good guys is because the amount of when switching is so good if you're switching against a team that has like a resto druid and they're not prepared and they have like a whole bunch of hots on one target but not on another if you like say cc the druid and then switch to something you're gonna get a defensive cooldown because there's nothing they're not ready for it Okay, so that's usually why switching is just so good, and that's really why the, that glyph shines so much. Alright guys, so that's all I have for this video today. I'll be making some more videos on uh, which compositions I think are going to be viable in WOD, which compositions are good now. Uh, macros, well, how to make your macros to efficiently utilize your utility with your... Uh, with like hand of protection and stuff like that without actually uh, targeting any of your party members. Uh, Add-ons like tidy plates and plate buffs and tell me when that'll tell you when your party's in CC and uh, tell you when your what teams you're facing or the abilities that your teams are using. So it's basically uh, a Gladiator uh, LOSA is an add-on that tells you when things are happening. I like to see it visually and I don't like to hear it because it also clutters my communication with my team. So I'll show you guys how to get that replacement for Gladiator Losa with uh, visual effects of seeing the buffs over their heads. And also I have some tips and tricks coming up for the current patch and season. So stay tuned for that guys. Thanks for watching guys and be sure to follow my Twitter at DMachineWow to get the latest updates on my new videos, uh, to see when I'm live streaming or even if you just want to ask me a question, that's going to be the most efficient way to get a reach of me is uh, at DMachineWow at Twitter. Make sure to hit that follow button. Thanks, guys.